there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kick. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he eyes very well as he follows with a jab right hand, left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters, with big differences in height and reach. All right, now for the introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Eden Prairie, Minnesota. Bad intention. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the right corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves is made. Ready. All right, crowd getting excited as this fight gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist. But on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five-tool player. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the guy. Nice defense there, huge block. Look at the turtle in that kick. Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. Big call punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Big hook. Once again, making good use of his size as he lands the knee. Oh, hard work pays off, lands the Superman punch flush. 
Nice punch lands. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Try to establish that jab. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Big kick lands. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop throwing it. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? Let's go. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Get those going. Those Powerful leg kick lands. 30 seconds now to go in round one. Just a slip there. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Five oh. minutes in the books. Oh. Let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent, and as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. Round two is upon us. Your thoughts on round one, champ? Round one was a very close round. Both guys had their moments, but nobody has really went out ahead in the race as we go into the second round. Big roundhouse now just misses. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Ooh, nice slip there to avoid the punch by Lee. Punch coming, it's blocked. Wow. Just missing on the uppercut there. Ooh. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right here. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, <laughs> if you're gonna sit there at the drive-thru, order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit, finish him off with the uppercut, that is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Great punch. And able to avoid the punch there. Nice slip by Lee. Nice, great shot, great shot. Nice kick. How about the volume of kicks out of this fighter tonight? And it really speaks to just how much a fighter can develop in three to five months away from the octagon. Yeah, he's doing a fantastic job of showing the evolution of his game in this kick-heavy approach. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Look at him with his hip into that kick. Huge shots there! Oh, straight 
big right. Oh, big left. Ten seconds now to go in the round. Ten minutes in the books. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. All right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now. The adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything you're trained to do, and it stays this close, you got to really switch it up. With corner, is able to relay that message to their fighter better. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Punches blocked. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Right hook to the body. It's such a fast leg kick. Punch to the body is blocked, so no damage done there. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. So oh, there, DC. He's rocked. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. He's trying to establish that jab once again. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Sneaky head kick. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Nice jab by Lee. Oh, he's real. Gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's going to stop in this contest at 3 minutes, 39 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout.